So with the next iPhones coming out, we will basically have to go ahead and convert our iPhone to eSIMs. Now, if you're anybody like me, if you have an iPhone XS or above, you do have the ability of utilizing the eSIM, which is really cool. However, sometimes if you make your way over to your iPhone settings and you go into cellular, which is right here, that convert to eSIM option may actually be missing. On my personal iPhone, that option is actually missing as well. This is essentially what it could end up looking like if you had that button. Now, if you're missing this specific button, the first thing I would recommend doing is making your way over to your iPhone settings, scrolling down into general, and making sure your iPhone is up to date. If your iPhone is very outdated, this may end up fixing it. For me, this did not end up fixing it at all, but that was the first thing I'd recommend doing. On top of that, you can try removing your SIM card from your phone, putting it back in and restarting your phone and trying to see if that works. But most of the time, that's kind of not going to work either. The only way to go ahead and pretty much you know, fix this specific issue if you want to get an eSIM is to contact your cell provider. So if you have AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile, whoever you have, you need to basically go ahead and contact them. So make your way over to your phone and get their contact information and contact your cell provider and let them know that, hey, I don't see that convert to SIM card option in iPhone. I need to go and get an eSIM. Can you please help me with it? And they will go ahead and walk you the process or walk you through the process of converting your SIM card to an eSIM. And from there, the eSIM is pretty much just a QR code. So it's basically just a QR code that you scan within. It looks kind of something like this. And that is pretty much how to do it. It's very basic. It really doesn't take too much time. And, you know, basically at that point, they will send you the QR code. And there, what you can do is click into here and you can set up your cellular at that point and you should be able to see it from there. So. As you can see, it says transfer from nearby iPhone or use QR code. You can just use a QR code, scan it here, or you can enter the details manually once they give it to you. And that'll pretty much allow you to utilize that eSIM at that point. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.